All right, let's open this up. We have uh, Karan Verma, an author on the broadcast, and we have Saket Gokhale, national spokesperson of the TMC, joining us on the panel. Good evening to both of you. Mr. Gokhale, I want your response first to uh, the reactions that are coming in from the BJP, calling it petty politics. Uh, what exactly is the core relation, many would ask? If somebody has an intention to kill, would it matter if they were part of such a scheme or na not? Would it matter if they were getting pension or not? Hi, thanks. Number one, to answer the BJP's claims of, oh, trying to politicize the tragedy, etc., etc., remember, every tragedy that happens in the globe, across the globe, is a learning lesson. So after 9-11, if other countries decide that, okay, we've learned a lesson from this and decided to change security measures, it would be idiotic to say that, oh, 9-11 is being politicized. Similarly, the assassination of Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, there is a lesson to be drawn here, which is the person who was the assassin, the person who killed him, was a person who was discharged after three years in a short service scheme in the self-defense forces of, 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 of the Japanese Navy. And this was a person who got weapons training, he used a handmade gun, he had no pension, he was unemployed. Now, the Agnipa scheme is something very similar to that. You're going to discharge 75% of, of Agni Beers after four years of service without giving them any pension. They'll be at the right young age of about 21 and 22 without a college degree. What are we trying to build here? We are creating a monster. And if we refuse you know, to learn less okay, from a okay. tragedy... You, know, and you want to raise questions on Agni, Agni Path scheme or the manner in which it is going to uh, leave 75% people out of jobs after four years. It's a different story altogether. My, my question is, what is the correlation between the assassination? Did the accused uh, in the Shinzo Abe murder case confess, admit that he killed Shinzo Abe because he was out of job, he was unemployed, he was part of a service where he was not getting a pension and he had taken uh, weapons training. Was that the motive? Do we know the motive? And if, if, if that was the motive in that case? To answer your question, what was the motive? I mean, you know, when a person does something out of depression, you say they do it out of depression. They're not going to sit down and analyze the reasons why they were in a place like that. I mean, a person is not going to say, S.A. Hua, S.A. Hua, S.A. Hua, is still here. The person was in a, in a space of desperation. The person was depressed. The person had an immense amount of frustration is what he himself said to the police and where is that frustration coming from he was unemployed he was discharged from the army i mean are Isn't we really that saying attaching that motives that you know if that out, person has told the police he was frustrated he could have revealed more and directly blamed the fact that he was an unemployed and he was part of a scheme uh, i don't i don't think that's he has said anything of that yeah. sort so that's why my question is, remains unanswered what is the correlation but i want to bring in karan verma karan verma saket gokhale says we need to learn from other people's mistake and uh, there are similarities between what may happen tomorrow and what has happened in japan you see learning from an experience is a different thing but the way saket is trying to rationalize this that he is depressed he was frustrated well, there are a lot of people who get depressed that doesn't give them the right to pick up a weapon and assassinate someone. So let's not rationalize that. I mean, that's a very dangerous precedent when we start rationalizing acts of violence. Nothing, whether he was frustrated or not with a particular policy, none of this ever justifies violence. So first of all, that has to be condemned and let's stop ascribing motives to it. And secondly, if there is a policy if there is a policy, if there is a policy that you are not satisfied with, there are ways to raise a voice of dissent. Everyone is entitled to raise that. There are suitable forums for that. But if you are trying to link a tragedy and a tragedy to a policy and trying to score a political point, please don't interrupt. I did not interrupt when you were speaking. If you but are trying to score a political me. point no, at Mr. such Gokhale, a tragic let's be fair time, to Karan then Barma. it he never slowly. Let him, let him finish his point. About your let him finish his point, politics. Mr. Gokhale. I'll come back to you for a response. No, let no, him finish that's his point. The problem, no. I'll come back to you. Uh, no, no. M Mr. Gokhale has actually... No, no. That is, that is the kind of politics you've resorted to. Speaking over the other person, linking a tragedy to score a political point. The truth is that this has been a trend. Swati, this has been a trend with the TMC, with other political parties. 
they have always done petty politics over blood. When Pulwama happened, Mamta Banerjee had said, what is the timing of this? She suspected the timing. She was again attaching motives to it. Why has it happened just before the election? So they have been in this business of whipping up hysteria and making political points. What they don't realize is that this way they don't connect and they lose out on their political capital also. So sir, bring some decency back in the public discourse. Stop doing politics over blood. It is going to hurt you also. Leave aside ethics. Ethics have an inverse proportion relation perhaps with mm. you. But at least thinking about your political capital, divorce yourself from such insensitive okay, remarks. Let's take, a, let's take a response now. Another argument coming in is, is that there is an overwhelming response to the Agnivir scheme. So what uh, in fact uh, you know, tells you, Saket Gokhale or other people who have similar opinions that after four years there is going to be frustration, depression, desperation and people might resort to uh, taking up arms for uh, crime and acts of violence. First of all, I'm not going to take lessons on political capital from a person who doesn't know the P of politics, number one. Number two, it is incredibly disgusting that while you're sitting there as a moderator, the other panelist is saying, oh, you're trying to rationalize the assassination. No, we're trying to say how dangerous this Agnivir scheme is, this Agnipat scheme is. You're going to create a bunch of frustrated youth. What is the guarantee that one of those lakhs of you does not pick up a gun? Does the government guarantee that? And as far as the overwhelming response goes, remember the unemployment level in India today is at an all-time high compared to history. So people, yes, will apply to any job that you give them. Today a position is open for a pune and there is MBAs and PhDs applying for that. So does that mean a PhD person is happy to work as a pune? Are we discussing, no. the, are we discussing that scenario? Are we discussing that scenario? Did the opposition did, did the opposition directly is the opposition directly raising the issue? What is disgusting is what is what is disgusting what is disgusting is that the assassination of a former prime minister of Japan is being used to hit out at the Agnivir scheme. Yes. You find that you have questions. You have questions. You want to criticize the scheme? Go ahead. Yes. Raise issues Again, of unemployment, raise issues of Agni Veer scheme. What is the correlation between the assassination of Shinzo Abe and the Agni Veer scheme? That's, that's a very simple point I'm trying to make. If you mute me, then it's pointless. Exactly. If you will, if you will mute me, that's pointless. A tragedy is a learning experience. When something happens, you point a finger and you show, hey, look, this is what could happen. Now, what is the meaning of using a tragedy? It is an exact Mr. Gokhale, Mr. Gokhale, are you saying, hey, look, this is what happened in Japan. This person was frustrated because he was part of the SDF, a job with no pension. He was unemployed. He told the police that that was his intention to kill. That was the motive. Do we know the motive? Or are we attaching motives? You understand there is something called circumstances. You realize that, right? Is Absolutely, this not but I'm not, I am not able to understand or wrap my head around, the, around oh. the correlation that the opposition is trying to defend. Again, so tomorrow, if we say that 9-11 was terrible because a bunch of fanatics hijacked a plane and crashed it, are you going to ask a question, well, was their motive religious or was their motive crashing oh a plane? God. How You're does that reflect apples on and oranges. Majority? You're that comparing apples and oranges. Ever. You're comparing apples and oranges. And what are you comparing? That was then? an act. That was an act of terror. That was an act of terror. And this is not an act of terror. What is the motive? This is what not an is act of terror. What is the motive? What is the motive and correlation have with the Agni Veer scheme? That's a very simple question I'm asking. Have you heard of a concept called profiling? Hmm. You look at profiles. When you identify criminals, you look at profiles. Profiling is how to identify criminals and predict okay. what they're going to do. So going next. by that. Going by, going by Saket Gokhale's uh, conclusion that he has drawn, Karan Varma, people who are going to be relieved from the Agnivir scheme after four years from the services will have to look into this. You'll have to look into their backgrounds. The profiling will have to be done because the circumstances could be similar tomorrow. What a ridiculous statement and a half. Uh, that is what happens uh, when a troll actually becomes a spokesperson of a political party. I'm sorry if you ever make a personal attack well, uh, sign off right First of all, the defense heads have actually attack. approved this. The I mean, defense the heads... Well, when you made a personal attack, I kept quiet. I kept quiet and waited for my turn. 
I know that said to you, I know that said to you, but stay quiet, it's my turn to speak right now. I stayed quiet when you spoke. So when the defense heads, when the defense heads approve a scheme, I think we have, we have to have faith in the intellect and the ability of our defense chiefs. And the government, uh, to be honest, has said that they are going to roll out the scheme and see how it plays out. Look, in a dignified setup, if there is a reform to be made, it comes with its challenges. But the government has been flexible. We've already seen interjections. We've already seen changes in that. So let the scheme roll out. I mean, if you are going to stall every scheme, right. if you are going to whip up every hysteria after every single reform is being trying to come up, then uh, I'm sorry, we are not okay. going to be able to make any sort of progress. Okay. Yes, right. you have a right Karan to Karan Barma, I'm uh, completely out of time. Anything, I, I have to wrap up the debate. Forum. Thank you very much, Saket. Gokhale has already left, but thank you to him as well for being a part of the panel. Thank you to you as well, Karan Barma, for your views. With that, we slip into a